This is Jeremy Simpson with Magnum Products. I'd like to give you a short demonstration on the Midcom Matrix software. So first thing I'm going to do is go to midcomcorp.com, so M-I-D-C-O-M-C-O-R-P.com, and I'm going to choose the Downloads tab, and then uh, the software I want is the Midcom Matrix eCount configuration software. I click on that and then run it. It'll start to download. By default, it's going to put the icon on my desktop. So I'll get this out of the way. And it's right here. So if I double click it, uh, first thing it's going to tell me that this is a trial version of the Midcom Matrix. Uh, it's a 30 day trial. Uh, but if I want to register it, I'm just going to fill out this form here. Now, the best way to do this is just to register register via email, um, so they're going to send me a registration code back to that email address I entered. So it's going to send off the registration to the factory, and they'll respond back with my code. But that's okay. I don't need it now because uh, you have a 30-day trial. Um, I'm going to say no, so I can just go ahead and use it get out of here. We'll enter that code um, later. The way an e-count is uh, set up from the factory, it always has these first nine products, propane, fuel oil slash diesel, gasoline, lube oil, methanol, and so on. And then at product 10, it's just going to say product number 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 99, which is how many products we can hold. So I'm just going to go in here and um, change the labels on a few products, and I'm going to say this is a diesel truck. We delivered clear and dyed diesel. So the first two products I'm going to put in is clear diesel for both. And the next two I'll do dyed diesel. I'm going to clear out some of these just so we don't, it's not confusing during the demonstration. Okay. And then on this side here, we have uh, additional product descriptions. So um, if we wanted, if we needed to do something with that, we'd do that right often. Uh, the next tab is pricing. So you can see here the four products I put in. I have the two clears and two dyes. I'm just going to go ahead and put a price in here for this product one. And I'll put in two fifty-nine nine. And I'll put in 5% tax, $0.02 cent per gallon, early pay discount if it's paid within 10 days. Go ahead and save that. The next one, I'm going to do the same price, two fifty-nine dollars 5% tax, $0.02 cent per gallon discount if paid in 10 days. But I'm also going to do a special charge, and we'll show that later. So under dyed, I could come in and make it one eighty nine nine, and no tax, no discount is that it's dyed. And I keep going down the list and you know, as many products as I wanted. I could have different price, tax combinations, discounts. The next tab over is a ticket header and footer. So I can, this is going to print on every ticket. So I have up to 10 lines of header and four lines of footer. So if I wanted to print my company name or address, and then as long as they're check marked, they're going to print on the ticket. If I wanted to add any additional spaces, I could just check these to add blank spaces. On the footer, I may want to say uh, pre-buys are due July 29th. So then the next tab over is ticket print, which is more like a print preview. Um, so it shows all the information here, but it shows how it's going to print on the ticket. I can see that my header here, it's putting everything left justified, which I guess is normal, but I don't really like that. So I can go back to the header and footer, and I can choose to center the lines. So when I go back here to ticket print it, it just puts them in the center. It, it looks a little better. Um, but you can see here I have some information. There's a blank line in between the header and the truck number. If I wanted to take that out, it just takes that away. So if I want to try to uh, minimize what I'm doing on the ticket, um, that's one thing to do. Like if we look at the bottom, a lot of people don't put totalizer and register number. So I could go ahead and take those out as well. So now when it prints, it's not going to have that information at the bottom. If I click minimize, it's going to take out every blank space and every item I don't need uh, 
according to weights and measures. So I'm just going to move along here, um, go to special charges. We talked about this earlier. Um, we had a special charge one, so I'm going to call that the off-route charge. I'm going to say that's $50. Now when we choose product two, it's going to pick special charge one. Uh, it's going to be an off-route charge of $50. Calibration tab, um, this is going to be the calibration factor for every product. Uh, right now we don't have it calibrated, so we're just going to put in our starting factors um, of 1.000 for our four products. So if I just go back here, I can go down to each one of these tabs and send them individually, or I can just say send all to eCount. It's going to send everything except the calibration data to it. Now I'm going to make sure that I'm on register one because that's the, the register I'm at here. So before doing that, I'm going to make sure that I need to plug in a serial cable uh, from my computer to this, um, this port here, the serial one host. If you have a serial port on your laptop, um, then that's great. You can just use a regular serial cable. If not, like most of us, um, and you have just USB drives, you can use a uh, USB to serial adapter um, like this one here. Uh, and then we're just going to plug this. Like I said, we plug it into the serial one host. Obviously, the USB port will go into my computer. So if I say send all to eCount, going to tell me that it does not include calibration data, then it's going to make sure I want to overwrite everything that's currently in the account. I do. So it tells you down here, sending product labels, descriptions, um, pricing. It's just going to walk through all the tabs. So that sent all these tabs here uh, across here, and then it did not send the calibration data. So I have to click on the calibration tab uh, specifically and send it from here. But we can't just send calibration data to a register and change it just by hooking a computer up. Uh, weights and measures would not appreciate that. So we have to back out this calibration screw and then screw it back in. We basically have to put it into calibrate mode and then take it back out. So if I back this out far enough, if I had a seal on here, that would have to break. Now it went into calibration mode, and then I'm just going to so it's calibrate right here. I'm just going to screw it back in, take it out of calibration mode. But it knows, the register knows it's been, the seal's been broken. So as long as we don't power down the system, it will continue to accept calibration data from a, a matrix software. So I'm going to go ahead and send this calibration data. So let's test our um, delivery. We'll, I'm going to hit the mode button and choose product code 2. Looks like it's already chosen. So that's one that has the special charge. Let's go ahead and start a delivery. Okay, so I'll go ahead and stop the delivery, close the valves, and print the ticket. We can see that we have our header information that we put on there. Took the line out, so it's kind of crowding it. I think I'd probably want to put that back. But it has the, um, obviously, all the gallons we delivered. Uh, it has the pricing of $259.9. has our tax of 5%. There's our off-route charge of $50.00 and our two cent per gallon um, discount if paid in 10 days. Product label, clear diesel, and even our footer, pre-buys due July 29th. So everything just came from the matrix. It's always a good idea, once you've done this, to save it as a file, uh, so you can always refer back to it. Uh, or maybe you're going to load this same uh, file onto all five of somebody's trucks. So I would just come down here to save matrix file, it's going to work like any file does on a computer. It's going to, it's automatically trying to, just trying to put it on my C drive. Um, I'd probably put it in documents or desktop. Maybe I would make a folder on the desktop called matrix files. Now if I choose this, and we'll call this our demo. So now if I ever want to load a matrix file or a really open one, I'll choose load, and it'll always go back to that folder we set. So no matter where you put it, you put it in your documents, you put it on your desktop, wherever you put it, it's always going to go right back there. And then you'll have a list of, of any customer files you have there. 
also a good idea if you do hook up to somebody's um, computer, if you're going to reflash new software uh, or you're going to change anything, it's good to have a backup of whatever's on the register currently. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and load all the defaults like this was brand new, um, which we started with. So you can see here we got those all the nine, uh, product one, two, three, four, and five, all the way down. Um, but now I'm actually going to pull the information from the eCount. So I'm going to get all from eCount. We know that we have clear diesel on there twice and dyed diesel on there twice. So if I just say get all, um, it's going to ask me if I want to save what I've been currently working on. I don't need to. Um, it lets me also know that it does not include calibration data. I'll have to go to that tab to get that individually. But now it's retrieving all the data. It shows it down here on the left-hand corner. I know I said it before, but it's worth mentioning again, the register number here is Pay attention to that, because uh, if you do have a dual system, it's only going to grab it from one register at a time. So, and you can see here we, we grab the clear diesel information as well as has all the pricing that we did, um, any discounts or special charges, all of that uh, header and footer information, we've grabbed it all. So if you walk up to somebody's truck that you haven't worked on, you can bring all this stuff in and then save it to your computer so you have a backup of their information, which is always smart. That pretty much does it. Thank you for watching.